we looked at examples uh, of processes in the previous uh, few slides what I have done here is jotted down yes I did it while you were not looking I have jotted down some of the examples I gave you and let's uh, review these processes during the break and maybe you could find or try to identify the basic elements of a process as shown in the definition of the process of a process and try to jot those down so you'd be looking for inputs and looking for steps you'd be looking for an output or more than one output as we understand a little more of about processes and also understand the concept of quality we will modify the definition of a process slightly to include two more entities but for now it's good enough if you could just identify those three elements input step or steps output okay let's go on to the next slide now so these are the categories of inputs that influence a process and uh, what I mean by that is if if a process is influenced so the output of a process has also to be influenced by the same categories so we have machines materials methods measurements mother nature uh, you will often come across this term called environment and that's that's equivalent to mother nature and then people these are the six categories that you can break up or consolidate all inputs in any process around you into so let's go on and look at this so this is not really math but I wanted to kind of show it a little more clearly so I have this equation on the slide here which is y is equal to f of x which is y is a function of x x's are the elements or the categories that we saw here right so this is kind of a more I would say logical way of looking at a process so this is where your process is this box here is what transforms inputs into an output yeah and then you could have uh, many numbers of inputs and you could have many numbers of outputs what I'm showing here is just one output so that it's clear or it's uh, less confusing right okay so let's move on to the next slide so if you look at a process as a machine that converts takes a, a, a finite number of axes and processes them and gives you an output this is how it look like so should we focus on x or y what I mean is should we look at should we focus on the inputs or should we uh, focus on the outputs that's something we'll discuss in a short while from now 